Good morning, everyone. I thought I would come up here to Prescott and do the Constellation Trails. Get some conditioning back in again, see if I still have it. And I've made it one mile and a half an hour. So that's my two mile an hour pace. And feeling good that I still got it. So it's time to hit the trail again on the way down now. Thanks for watching. I thought I would show you a little bit about what this trail looks like. I am on the way back down. That's where I'm headed. I just came through up right there on the other side of that hill. So I have done a mile and a half an hour, which is my two mile an hour pace, which is when I came up here to see if I could still do. I haven't been hiking in about a week since I got off the AZT. I did burn my face, which when you're fair-haired and fair-skinned, I should know better. I did have sunscreen with me. I was applying my sunscreen lip protection, but it ended up happening, and a lot of it could have been stress as well, but Got a bunch of blisters on my top lip. Swelled up really bad, so I looked like Marge Simpson. So much to the point where the roof of my mouth was hurting. And then now I've got some scabbing going on, which when I wake up in the morning, then I've got blood all over my lips and on my pillowcase this morning. But it is what it is. And like I said, I should know better. I should be wearing sunscreen. But feels good to be out hiking. I really haven't done much because what I'm also doing is packing up my things for storage. And I think I'll get off of here for a minute so I can negotiate this. And welcome back. So there has been quite a number of people up here hiking today. So, just stopped and talked to a few of them. Such a gorgeous day up here. One of the things that one guy just said was for the cramps, he had heard from somebody that mustard works really well, so he suggested getting some of those little packages of mustard keeping them in the backpack and get the cramps. Just kind of squirt all that in their mouth and um, hmm, that's an idea. Pretty easy to carry. Maybe one or two of those. I'm always open to ideas. Kind of nice today. I'm slack packing, which means I don't have my big backpack. I just have my day pack. It's kind of nice. I don't even realize that it's even there. But I do have my regular backpack down to like 20 and a half pounds. A wall beanie and a down hood that goes over my face for sleeping at night. And I did get my sea knock, also the couplings so that I can hook everything all up and gravity feed it into my bottle after the Sawyer filter. And I'm waiting on two more items. One is a screen protector because I did break my screen when I was on the AZT. Just the, the protector part. Alright, so we have a white dot going that way and there's a white dot going that way. The 
connect dots up here in Prescott are pretty much like white blazes on a tree. Put them on the rocks around right here. Um, the other item that I'm waiting for is I did order some shoulder pads for my backpack. I guess. Oh yeah. That was that one ledge. So you could have gone either way. Um, so negotiating a little sketchy part here. So yeah, I'm hoping that that shoulder pad does help. Other than that, I should be pretty much good to go. I have the last of my stuff being moved out tomorrow morning, Wednesday, the 31st, and then I'll clean up my apartment and be out on Friday the 2nd. And then I'm going to be doing a couple of overnight hikes, just getting a little bit more comfortable with camping in the woods overnight. And then on the 7th, I have a gel shot for my knee. That'll give me a cortisone shot and a gel shot, which should get me through the six months or so of the AT. And then about the 15th, 16th, I start my drive across country. I'm going to be going to San Antonio. Meeting up with a friend, staying at a bed and breakfast, and going to the Alamo, and the river walk. So looking forward to that. And then I'll finish my drive up across to Amicola Falls, where I'll sign the register, weigh my bag, make it all official, and then drive up the coast to my daughter's. Be there for a couple of days, leave my vehicle with her, and then the 30th of April, which is a Thursday, I'll head over to Harper's Ferry, get a room for the night so that I can start the trail bright and early. Um, I believe it's Saturday, May 1st. So that's the plan, and it's it's happening. All right, so I'm gonna. Finish up this hike. Thanks for watching. And again, if you like this contact, subscribe and give it a thumbs up, comment, ring the bell so that you can get more of my notifications and share it. I'd appreciate it. Thank you.